God is great. First and foremost. Uh. All right, uh, Fonz. Uh, we want to talk about Harry Bridges, his main concern about this union and about these companies. What was one of his, his, his main concerns? Uh, Harry Bridges' main concern was solidarity. In order to have solidarity, you've got to have uh, cohesiveness, regimentation, and also you have to have fairness. And that means that you have to have a system, sort of like uh, a birthright. And we know what the birthright is. First come, first serve, first hired, last fired. That's been our seniority system. Even the Supreme Court itself uses that system. It's a seniority system. That's the only really fair system that you can have, is by seniority. Unions are not by, we're not by ability. We, we don't, we, we don't, we don't, uh, em, the employer is looking for ability. We're looking for representation. Taxation for equal representation. This is why we have a seniority system. It's not based on production, performance, capability. It's, it's based on birthright. But that don't give you, a, 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 it's not conclusive, because if you can't do, if you can't perform the task, then you have to move over for the next senior person. So there's no guarantee because you have seniority that you're gonna get, you're gonna get the first choice but that doesn't mean you're going to get the position. That's what senior, that's what makes it fair. It gives everybody an equal opportunity to perform. And that's what this is about, opportunity. Because there's nothing that etched in stone that gives you exclusive ownership to anything, not even your life. So what year did you meet uh, Harry Bridges? I met Harry Bridges in 1963. Is when I actually met him as a B person. And he used to preside over our meetings because at that time he was the international president. And Local 10 is the international local. This is where, this was his home local. So he would always attend all Local 10 meetings and he'd always chair our meetings because that was the way it was. Because the international local, by rights, the international president is supposed to chair the international local because there's only one union it's an international union that international mean that it covers different geographical locations but it's only one union and it's only one local it's an extension of that local and this local is extended is extended to geographical spots which is numbered but it's the same organization that's why the cliche an injury to one is an injury to all Everything that concerns one geographical location concerns all geographical locations because it's only one. Well, why is there so much division and racism and fascism and sexism and all the kind of isms that's in this union? Why is that? Well, because, like you, you, you said, it, it's about separatism, racism, ideologies. And when you get these things mixed in and people have their own ideologies, they want to go like go their own way. So the union, we're a collective system. And we're the same from one geographical location to the other. We're, we're, we're one. But through the years, our constitution has been, they claim it has been amended to three divisions. There's one division, which is the Longshore Division, the IOW International Longshore and Warehouse Union. That's Division One. Now you have another division, which is the Allied Union, which is ILW International Longshore and Warehouse, which is Hawaii, Alaska, Vancouver. These are not Division One locals, because when Division One locals was put into place, uh, Hawaii, first of all, was not a state, neither was Alaska. And neither did we have a coalition between Canada at this time. So the original jurisdiction belongs to Division One. 
then you have a third division which is associated, which is Teamsters, uh, AFL CIO, uh, IBU, uh, Machinists. There's other, lots of other unions who, who capacitate other jobs that's being done in the maritime or in the ports. Because our jurisdiction covers loading and unloading ships. We don't have jurisdiction over all work that goes on in these ports. Our jurisdiction is any manipulation of any cargo that goes on and off a commercial vessel or military, doesn't matter, comes under our jurisdiction within 50 miles out to sea, 50 miles inland and 90 miles in the river ports. That is our jurisdiction. A labor union. We are a labor organization. That's what longshore work consists of, labor intensity. But as mechanization and modernization came along, things changed. We went, started to go from manual to computers, to uh, mechanics, it became more mechanical. The old, in the old days, everything was almost hand jive, we called it, labor intense. But as, as modernization came in, uh, a lot of, uh, like I said, mechanics changed the, the, the capacity of the work, so it created skill categories, but it's still labor. Such as when we were throwing sacks, loading sacks on swings, it required manpower only. So when we would load slings, the, the employee would ask that we count them. We said, no, that's 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 not labor, that's skilled labor now. That creates a, a clerical sort of situation. This is how we got clerks. We refused to count them. So we designated certain people to count them, certain people to throw them, to load them. This is how, this is how we got our category. That's, that's what a clerk was. He was called a checker. He was a longshoreman that did not throw sacks, but he counted sacks. Different job. One man, one job. This is how it came. So we started to put sacks on pallet boards. You can't put a pallet board like you do a sling. It's a whole different operation. Now you need a forklift. So now we need a driver for the forklift. There goes the skill category, but it's still skill labor. This is how we got our lift board. Also, the guys on the winches, they didn't throw sacks, they drove the winches to lift the cargo from the hold of the ship to the dock. Dock men, their job was to hook and unhook loads. They did not throw sacks. For instance, if a sack spilled, they would use hold men or dock men to, to handle those sacks. Not not dock dock workers, not 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 the dock men only, not the game dock men, but the warehouse would do would, 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 would handle this. This is how we got our categories. So we then now we got we're a labor union, but we have different categories of labor, such as uh, clerks, forklift drivers. And now to, to quantum ahead, now we have crane operators, we have tractors. All this is is is, is, is has come from labor because labor is being transformed into robotics. You know, modernization has changed labor, but it's still, we're still laboring, we still have the jurisdiction because it says any manipulation, anything that man has to do with the movement of cargo, whether he uses his hands, or if he uses a forklift, if he uses a pencil, if he uses whatever he uses, becomes secondary to labor. Labor is king because we have the jurisdiction.